Hey, so it's a commonly repeated thing that the left can't meme. But I think that it's more that the left is a meme. And one thing I'm starting to realize here, though, that's another observation I'm coming to, and I guess I'm starting to realize observation, is possibly the right can't tell when the left is memeing. That is something that goes really sick. You know, the left can't meme, the left thinks they can meme. I think the left is being a meme, and I think that's how they're doing it, and like I think some people don't recognize that's the meme. And maybe when they actually try to do the visual memes, like the one that's on the screen right now, people don't really understand what's going on. Like, when people actually look at these, I'm going to read this as part of the Meme Whisperer series, where I just go down and I break down, like, the memes, and I talk about the different things that I think are going on in it. And this one was more, somewhat more interesting than the previous ones that I've had. So the previous ones I've had in this series, well, this will be in a playlist if you listen to this on YouTube, and if you are, like, share, and subscribe. I just talked to my sister earlier, and she follows my content, and she was talking about how she doesn't get notifications anymore. So if you are on YouTube, hit the notification bell. I am looking at different platforms. I've got a Rumble, got a BitChute. I have a Minds account. I'm going to start posting these in one location on my blog, probably on like this Rantaton blog or somewhere else in Carbon33.com where I can just put all the things and then you can find like one link. Maybe I'll just put one link below. There's a bunch of links below right now if you listen to this on YouTube or the other video platforms which are uh, <laughs> Rumble and BitChute. Anyway, so coming back to this. With the Meme Whisperer series, I normally just find a meme, an image, whether it's an actual meme or somebody just posting something on Twitter and then they go in and they just kind of break down and give some thoughts on what's actually going on in there or just images and things like that. And I think this one is a mix of both. This is something that I saw. It's a meme that contains something that I saw on Twitter, sort of some tweet of some people. So let me just read it. If you can look at it on the screen, I'll describe it. It's the Winnie the Pooh meme with Winnie the Pooh sitting in a couch kind of looking drab. And then the next one, he's, they've drawn like a tux on him and he's kind of got this smug, self-important kind of look on his face. You, you, you might be familiar with the meme template. But the top one, the top box says, the left can't meme and he's got that kind of just basic look. And in the bottom is a... <laughs> a tweet by one Daniel Barian that has been making the rounds on, on Twitter saying, right-wing memes are short and sweet because they ask you to appeal to knee-jerk assumptions, which have already been deeply coded into your mind by social propaganda. By contrast, leftist memes are tasked with breaking your social brainwashing, which requires complexity and nuance. And I found this. I'd already seen the actual tweet being posted around. <laughs> this is a comp comparison that this was a response to somebody saying the left can't meme. Then Daniel Byron Bar actually responded with this. I was like, what are you talking about with this, Daniel? So I posted this on social media because I saw it as this meme. Somebody else made it. And I posted it with the emoji of the the eye, the, the monocle guy. So that's kind of the, the, the highfalutin kind of feeling myself thing, the bougie type of thing. And the two emojis of the people, somebody in front of a of, um, blackboard would do the work in the middle. Because do the work, as we'll see below, is something that is said by the left. People say, you got to do the work. Have you done the work? I'm doing the work. They're talking about the work of of fighting, of being the resistance, of researching into all the racism, the sexism, the oppression, the constant stuff. That is something that comes from critical theory, postmodernists, mostly on the political left type of environments, but it's not just in the political left, as we'll get to below. And on the screen right now, as I'm doing this, it'll be a speed drawing of the cover that I did for a recent series of conversations that I'm having with a friend of mine, Stephen, about the book of The Cracks in the Ivory Tower. And it was, I think it's specific, the chapter was chapter six of that book. We're breaking it down. It's talking about the name of the chapter is When Moral Language is a Cover for Self-Interest. Moral Language, yeah, When Moral Language is a Cover for Self-Interest. So with, with that one, you, you can see there's also part of the whole educate you thing. Where there's that guy from the, what's it called, from the, the wall video? We don't need no education. Da, 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 um, Pink Floyd video where it's a guy squeezing like, hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. So there is that kind of thing where they have that whole, oh, we're the most educated group. There is something with that. So this is the thing. I'm just going to, I fixed the, the battery on my computer. So I will start doing this thing where I do these speed drawings of 
actual video so you could go to check out that video but it just has this ongoing thing and i'll be doing more of that in the background i'll start doing things where it's more familiar where like each video i'll try to have the actual video presentations of these to have graphics to go with the actual cover that i do it so maybe i'll do this recordings first and then i'll think of what the cover is going to be because what i've been doing in the past was i would actually do the recording it's a bit of a little on the side a bit of a ramble i'll do the recording of the actual content publish it and everything and i'll normally use actual videos or other actual speed drawing of other things related to it rather than the actual cover of the video i'll have that after the video is out i'll normally even sometimes have the video published and have it scheduled and then do the cover later that's how it is with the rest of the series but i'll try to do a thing where i actually get in a situation where i'll actually record the stuff and then do the cover and then maybe use a speed drawing of that cover in the actual video of the stuff. That might work better. Let me know, because I'm trying to see what, what do you, the listener, the viewer, the hearer, the, the consumer actually want from what I'm actually presenting out here. I'd like this to be more interactive. But yeah, hey, Silas, time to be more interactive. They're here for the actual meme whisper. I think that's what you're here for. <laughs> Let me get back to the whole meme whispering thing. So these are some things. Those are some more information you know about how I make my content. Maybe you don't understand how I make my content. And now that I've explained that, you're kind of understanding why this image is going on. But also the whole like educating, the whole moral language. And I think that's part of what's being written here. You know, they're talking about, oh, with the left, we're, we're, we're saving you from social brainwashing. It requires complexity and nuance. It's like kind of humble bragging. Like, oh, we're doing so much more. That's why we need to go into so much more in-depth things. So they posted that. And if you know me, like some of the people who initially commented, initially reacted to it, understand that I was posting this as a troll. They're understanding that the do the work thing was more of a troll on my part. But I went to sleep. I woke up and... All of a sudden, all these other people had posted on it who I don't follow me. So you'll see what they're saying. Let's go with the first person here. Let's go. Let's put E E N. That's his name. This is someone I am familiar with. They know the content. They know I post this kind of troll stuff often. So they come out and they post. Breaking social brainwashing, LOL. More like breaking morality into degeneracy. Undoing the core family structure and overinflating egos with fluffy words to give the appearance of high intelligence. So he posted that and then I posted back like, no, you, because I'm still going in the character where I'm like saying that's what they were doing with this. That's what the guy was seeing in the meme. Was, and then he posted back another meme saying, no, you, another gif. So that's the thing. He understands we're going into the back and forth. With him. I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a friend of mine. Then he posts another meme here where he posted this thing of, <laughs> it's like the scene from uh, one of the prequels of the, I think it's the last prequel of the Star Wars movies, the scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, Anakin Skywalker are fighting the lava pit place, and then he says something like, the left can't meme, Anakin. That's what Obi-Wan is saying. Then <laughs> the Anakin screams like all this tiny text. <laughs> and then the person then it goes back to Obi-Wan Kenobi and says, I'm not reading that. This is just the general meme that goes on, saying the left can't meme. And then the left, they meme in these really long packets. It's normally a thing where they write a lot of text to come. And whenever somebody sees that, they kind of just assume that's the leftist. And that's happened to me before, trying to write a meme where I tried to put a lot of information into one thing. I was like, ah, oh, you're a leftist. I'm like, eh, I'm not really a leftist. But anyway, so that's he posted that. I did the care thing that because I'm getting that. I'm getting where he's coming with this. And then here we go with the first person who somehow this got out. I did have this post set as public. So sometimes some things catch on and then other people brought on. Then somebody comments on it and someone who's following them comments on it or likes it and then on that person's news feed it's like oh that person liked it and then they see it and then they feel they can comment on it or they react and then somebody else three people removed from the initial person who commented who came from other news feeds ends up doing their own comment in it then they add someone else and then that's how you see something like this happening so so people jumped on this person J jd let's go to jd okay they said no the left can't mean because their whole reality is based on lies so it's sort of a glass house problem Memes operate on facts and uncomfortable truths. So a leftist feelings first meme is always going to be cringe as fuck. Uh, yeah, adult language. This is an adult channel. I'm going to be cursing here. So I'm um, going to just read, read this. I don't only curse as much as I used to in the past, I think. Okay, anyway. So uh, my response to them was, I think they are memes as in some sort of live action meme playing. That was just me explaining as I had in a previous video and I'll leave a link here somewhere or it's in the playlist of the meme whisperer in the recent one that I did where I was talking about just the, the left themselves. It was something with abortion where it's like they, they, they were walking around with this meme and I'm like, you, you're, you're a meme. What, what are you doing with these your actual take on these kind of things? I think they were talking about the same thing with something like equating abortion with like Black Lives Matter and it was, it was an odd kind of situation. Like people object to 
people seem to be about people's lives when they're talking about that, but they don't think, they think babies' lives matter somehow when it comes to abortion, but they don't think black lives matter. I'm like, you're a meme. Do you not understand what you're doing? Like, you look goofy as heck. Goofy as heck. Goofy as F <laughs> when you're doing that kind of stuff. So I just posted that, and maybe they're going to see it. I don't know if they're actually going to watch the video. Then <laughs> somebody else posted CWW. They were like, basically this meme, actually, and then by this time I'm kind of thinking, wait, do they think I'm actually posting this as something that I support? And then somebody else posts here, like uh, BM posts, he's queer, I can smell it. And then for that one, I posted, do you give, did you give queer? Because there's this, <laughs> I posted the, a link to the video on queer and queer theory, which is another conversation me and Steven had, and that was going a deep dive into the book, cynical theories and we're talking about the specific part of queer theory which is a part of critical theory and with that one i'd use the cover of um the clip from harry and paul it was like did you say queer it's like do you know who's a queer it's like angelo angelo marco from germany like from germany he's a queer he's a queer he's a queer but he's married to a queer but he's married to a man so he must be a queer and it's like oh i think he might be a woman but anyway this this really funny it's a really funny skit harry enfield and paul i'm forgetting that paul's last name but these stand-up comedians or these skit comedians they do some great stuff um anyway so i posted that i again i think they think i as a poster they're calling me always a queer, and it's also just a joke, it's a meme, I, I don't know, I don't know. And there's some people on the left who might be queer, or who might think that, who might be offended by you writing that. Like, But to me, even if I was queer, I don't get offended. Like, if you call me that, I'm like, okay. Now, this was the key one, where I'm like, okay, hmm, these people are actually thinking I'm doing this. And again, I'm going to read this, and let me see, what, and then I'll read my response to them, and, and, then, and then, then, then get into it. Okay, so, so here we go. They said this, this is BM. He wrote... The OP is actually, whether they meant to or not, now I think here is where they might be suspicious if I'm actually being a Poe. Anyway, um, the OP is actually, whether they meant it or not, giving an excellent example of why the left cannot mean. The OP post comes from a ridiculously vaunted and distorted sense of self-importance, intellectualism, and moral authority. Meanwhile, that same perspective neither understands the common man nor uses facts uh, are greater than feelings. The result is a Frankenstein monster of a meme where the OP talks down to the viewer while simultaneously calling to the to emotion and ignoring logic. The hat trick of it all is that the best lefty memes are usually weak parodies of old right wing memes, or desperately trying to pass off an egoist sermon by hiding it in a meme template, like the OP has demonstrated. Mind you, please do not stop trying this kind of constant public uh, pathetic failure only helps to remind us what it means to be a lefty. Now, there's some things in there, I'll, I'll read my response right now, but I, I think, I don't know if they thought that I was being serious, but there's a part here that most definitely, what he wrote here where he says, the hat trick, oh, let, me, let me just read my response. Let me just get to my response. <laughs> okay, BM, is this a Poe? Because I did not make the meme, but you seem to think I made it and support it. On the quote, do the work, unquote, assuming that's what you mean by where I'm coming from. I agree with the distortion it comes from in times, most educated voter dem demographics and all, but I also see it as an obfuscation. For example, I've read more about the Bible than the average Christian. I'll find someone who mentions a part of it and begin to ask about details. Then they'll say, you just didn't do enough in praying and believing, or go research with the theological experts because I'm not one meaning that if I just put in more effort, I'll be able to then believe as they do. I see that more than them thinking that they actually know information. When they think they know, they usually present that. The meme itself just made me kek. I'm unsure where I screen capped it from, and my reading of it is as follows. The template is like the top is a basic meal at a at McDonald's, and then the bottom is more like a gourmet meal. It's a Michelin star restaurant with wine accompaniments and everything. And both are forms of nutrition. So in the meme, I can simply tell you that the left can't meme, or I can produce the more complicated example of how they can't meme in what I assume is the words of a leftist when I was talking about the actual thing, the, the, the original tweet right there. So the added keck to me is that people thinking that this could be a meme from the left on the simple level that rightists are basic and then people on the left are more advanced. In an attempt to break the usual meme template by setting it up as a different pose rather than um, 
how it usually is, the same poo in different phases, like in the Vince McMahon ones. And the Vince McMahon ones is when like, a proposition is brought and he's like looking a bit excited, then another one gets hired and ah, he gets more excited, then another one gets hired and gets super excited, and then the last one is like the red eyes, like, ah, yes, this is the best ever. So with this one, it's only a progression. But then I tell them, but thanks for actually doing some work <laughs> into breaking it down, as you see, even though it's a poe. Like my post is a poe, and an internet poe is when you actually do some kind of uh, satire of somebody and they think it's true. Like the accounts is the Titani McGrath is Congresswoman uh, something from Florida, like the 28th district that doesn't exist, Karen something, and it, I follow both, I follow at least a Karen person, and they kind of post on places where people think they're real and they actually attack what the person is posting, even though the person is just playing a character. Like that's kind of live action meme playing. And I think the left is doing that in some sense, but unconsciously. They don't do it as consciously as people on the right, who are ostensibly on the right or might be neutral, seem to be doing that about people on the left. Anyway, so <laughs> that happens. So I shall use this in my next Meme Whisperer video, which I'm recording right now. I didn't foresee people taking it in this way. And that's it for that response. So that's what I'm saying. Do you think the person thought that I was a leftist posting this like, in support, like it's a good meme? Like I was like, yeah, own the right by this meme. No, M my initial reason for posting this was as a as a mock of the people on the left because that person was like, educate yourself. The person who posted that tweet thought that they were educating yourself. And then I think where I screen capped this meme from, it was somebody who was using it in the same context that I was reading it as saying that, look, this is the left thinking they're actually doing a thing. Now that person might have actually screen capped this from somebody on the left thinking, but I, that's that's too much. That's really going in this place. Like I think the Occam's razor type of thing is a simple thing where that tweet actually came out where that person responded with this thing to kind of show like, oh, I'm owning you. No, I'm educating you. This is really what the left is doing. You on the right are just like this like low level like poo. You laugh at shitty memes like you just laugh at poo jokes. That's that's your, your low basic level. We are in these deeper things. We're delving deep into the, into the actual viscera of the human condition. So that's what they think. So this meme kind of shows up that thing where in sometimes when you have this Winnie the Pooh meme, you have these two levels of things where the first one is a transition, where this is them thinking they've gone to a high level, or the simple thing where it is a lot better to show the evidence that the left can't meme by showing them this actual quote. Like, this actual quote is a bigger example, goes into the details in a more sophisticated way of the simple thing of the left can't meme. So, <laughs> anyway, so these are the other things that somebody posted. Somebody posted, it's a wiener pit just like your mouth, and they posted a dog of a mix of the wiener pit, then I say, I guess I'll die. Because again, I think this person thinks I was posting the that. And then somebody else posted here, JT. Uh, they posted the thing with um, this guy with the cringe face, the cringe react face, and all this text over here, and then the, the kind of Arianic looking guy from the side view saying, shut the F up, I'm not reading all that. Yeah, okay. And then somebody says, the left can't meme. And then somebody just types, like, writes the right over. And this is by CJ here. And that, that's a good one that kind of shows how they normally do it. And that normally happens, where the left kind of tries to repurpose what's on the right. And, and then they, they tend to fail. Like, and then that's kind of a thing that's here. Okay, and then uh, the loser being roasted. Somebody puts this Cameron Boyle thing. I guess, you see, they came and they saw. And I guess they thought that I was posting it as a win. And then these other people were coming in here and roasting me. So, yeah, loser thinks roasted. Okay, I just put a carry thing. I don't care. Even if I was in that situation, I guess if I was in a situation to have the mentality enough to think this was an actually effective meme of owning the right, if you called that kind of person a loser, I would have the mentality to care what this random person on the internet thought about me being a loser. But anyway, it, it's just the interesting way how different people get to read this in a different way. So someone says here is, so what you're saying is the right is more happy because they can't take a joke. And this is my response to that person. I was like, that's what they seem to imply. But maybe they think it's a harder, like I said, you're so uneducated, you laugh at shitty memes, you laugh at like fart jokes. I, I don't know. So I remind myself that people don't always mean what I think I would think before using certain words. Like, for example, if someone just writes about God doing X, most people don't assume that they mean the God that they mean. Like, if you just go into a random group and it's a random selection of people and say, oh, God has helped me do this. People understand the general concept of what God means, what help means, what the this you might be talking about means. But the different people, due to their different belief systems, different histories, might attribute a different thing to God. And then they might attribute you did different things. Some people might think, oh, that means you must have sacrificed something to this God for this God to do this to you. Because that's the only way that I did the deity they think of as God does it. Some people might think, oh, I am more spiritual. So what you mean by God is really this 
general force of karma and bringing things back to you. So it's not a direct thing where it's a direct help, but it's you just putting good vibes out into the universe and then good vibes are being bounced back to you. But that person means that is God. But you could be meaning like, no, I literally had a God come and show up to me and then tell me, look, this is what you've got to do now. Or it could be a situation where it's not it's not God, it's like actual Job. And you have a brother named Job like in Arrested Development. And it's I guess Job is different. It's jo- Jod. Jod. You actually meant Jod. You have a brother named Jod like like Job <laughs> in Arrested Development, which is spelled G-O-B. And then you have that person who helped you with a job instead. So it could be something like that. I don't know. So that's the different things that go on there. The, the, getting towards the end here. Uh, I think we're towards the end here. Yeah, okay. Somebody posted this. This is T-K-L-H. He says, you didn't even use the meme correctly. That tweet is a fancy version of the right can't meme, ironically showing that the left can't meme. Then <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to get at here. So I posted, like, haha, I didn't use it correctly. Okay, meme master, let me take notes. notes. Thank you for educating me in the ways of the meme. And that's the thing. I posted this as a Poe to troll the fact that these people think, that that person initially thinks his explanation is actually valid of showing how the right can't meme, because I thought that was evidence, more evidence of how the left can't meme. And I thought the meme itself being posted in this way was kind of evidence of how that whole thing happens. I posted it, posted as a troll, I thought that was clear. This whole meme whisperer thing might have just raised more confusion (laughs) than it helped. I don't know. Thank you for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. Links to the merchandise store where you can help out this channel. You can help me out, create this content. I'm going to be trying to do more things. I'm moving more to more conversational type of stuff. And as I mentioned, I will be having one location where you can follow that. So if I'm kicked off of YouTube or if I'm blocked on different places, there'll be one location where if you like content like this, I'm going to be looking at ways to have other people contributing to this. Because I think this is a basic template. I think many other people do have things like this where they post certain things where other people interact with and they might be able to share. You might have a whole different take. You might have posted a meme at some time and had people take it a different way that might be worthwhile to be sharing. Like with this one, I just took this and the screen capped after all interactions and I'm just reading to you and giving you my thoughts on it. And I think more people can do this. And I think if we just have more communication, we can come to an age of understanding because problems occur not because of what X is, but because of how we define it as X. If these people actually knew me or actually decided to talk and ask and like, are you coming from this in this position? They probably wouldn't have posted what they did, but they looked at it. The meme is the meme. The visuals are the visuals. The tweet was the tweet. The people who made the actual image meme did it for their own particular reasons. My reasons for posting it were my reasons for posting it. Their ability of seeing it and actually understanding it as something else and defining it as me being a leftist, posting this thinking I'm owning the people on the, right, on the right instead of me being like somebody who's just not a leftist, not on the right in, in general. I, think I would be defined as on the right probably by these people the way they would define the right. They might look at my content and define me as a political right. I consider myself an individualist. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a free market troller. It's just some places are, are the, the salt mining in some places is just a lot more, lot better than salt mining in other places. It's more open for it. But anyway, so that's it for now. So the definitions... Problems occur because of not because of what X is, because of how we define X. Let me know if you like this content. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you thought about the meme. Did you get that I was coming from a joke? Do you think this works? What do you think the person thinks? Do you think people actually think this? Are you somebody who actually thinks this? That the left actually can meme? And this could be a thing where you look at certain comedy from different countries, it's a different way. You look at British comedy, it's not necessarily the same as American comedy, even though they're using the same ostensible language with different experiences, different things in their background. There's just different genres. There's like black comedy, and then there's, I guess, white comedy, there's Asian comedy, there's things like that. Where some things might be funny to certain people, but not funny to others. So what do you think of the general the left can't meme thing? Do you think it's accurate? Do you think it's more just that they meme in a certain way when it comes to how do you define memeing to begin with? then do you think it's something that the left can't do? Or do you think they are memeing in a different way and it's just that the right is not really finding that funny? How if you just go to an inside joke with certain groups of people, you might not be able to get the background to it? Do you think this person is accurate with his analysis of what the left memes are attempting to do and that's why it's different? Let me know what you think about that in the comment section, wherever you might be actually listening to this. And I thank you for taking your time to listen. Till next time, and goodbye. If you take the sex away in my house, you can start dropping the kids off over the weekend at my new place. <laughs> <laughs> because we had a deal. And that deal was I get to have sex with her forever, and she gets to twirl around in a white dress in front of her family one night. <laughs>